Steve Adubato with us. Uh, he's a Ph.D. He's the great PBS anchor, and he got this great, great uh, article called A Lesson You Can't Refuse. Well done, Steve Adubato. Thank you. First of all, most importantly, Merry Christmas to Joe, well and Frank, and Al, and Debbie, and, and Happy Holidays to everyone else. Um, listen, by the way, I, you forget my Ph.D. was actually my, my thesis. My, my dissertation was in The Godfather at Rutgers. They didn't appreciate it, <laughs> but I just wanted to share that. <laughs> And, oh, every quote. But and, you know what? You got now. We're, you and I are proud Italian Americans, as the guys yes, are in the are. studio. And ninety nine point nine percent of Italian Americans are good, hardworking, the foundation of this great country. So, but we have fun when you see the Godfather. It's not like that. And I got to tell my kids, my young kids, as you tell your Olivia, I tell my Olivia. You know, we're not like that. But it's fun to watch and the way they dramatize it. Yes. But but you got to give Steve Adubato, Mario Puzo, who wrote this, who wrote The Godfather, credit because every line in that movie has something to do with every walk of life. Am I right? There it is. And that's in and, and my great book, my masterpiece, uh, Lessons in Leadership, plug, plug. Um, <laughs> I did this chapter called Life and Leadership Lessons You Can Learn from The Godfather. It's not about crime. It's not about anti-social activity. It's about the lessons you can learn. So, yeah. like you said, uh, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Now, here's the deal. I argue that too often in life, Joe, we take our friends for granted. Now, you and I both know mm. this. I don't do any other morning radio show. Oh. Why? Because I keep my friends at AM 970 close. What's the point? The point is we take our friends for granted too often. Yeah, yeah, we just yeah. think they're always going to be there. Yeah. We just say, oh, you know, they're my friends. And so here's the point. The point is I've seen too many people in business and in life just think they're friends. Mm -hmm. They don't have to keep mm -hmm. in touch mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. They just think, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden, their friends all of a sudden aren't there when they need them. Well, in The Godfather, they had to keep their friends close. But what about your enemies? Yeah. And Donald Trump, our president-to-be. Yep. It's a fascinating lesson. Yeah. Your enemies, bring them in. Now, yep. the team of rivals, the, the book about uh, that Doris Kearns Goodwin wrote about Abraham Lincoln, yep. you bring those enemies closer. It's Why? It's true. Yeah, yeah, Because yep. you're going to be out there trying to hurt you. Bring them closer. You'll learn that in the gospel. You know, Those and, too, and, and, and to your point, too, I, I was with our mutual friend, the man we have, um, both have immense respect for, Governor Tom Kane. And we were talking. I you meant Nikki Greco. <laughs> I love Nikki. Nikki's the best. Tom Nikki, Greco, Nikki right. is the best. Uh, but the uh, Governor Kane, the great Governor Kane. He Kane, would reach across the aisle. Right you talk, you can, it's okay to talk to the Democrats if you're a Republican oh. and vice versa. It's okay to reach to the other side. And That's they right. may be, quote, unquote, oh, your enemies. Oh, you don't want them. No, you bring them in. Oh. You to them, you know, it's like, uh, and, and that's exactly what you got to keep. You got to keep the other side close, Stephen. You got, I think, especially in politics these days. And for Donald Trump to bring in Al Gore and then uh, Leo DiCaprio, Senator Joe Manchin, yeah, who is great. I mean, you got to do it. And then, of course, all the right wingers go, "Oh, how could he do that?" No. It's, it's as it should be done. As it and should I, be done. And I hear some of the Democrats who are turning on Manchin, Senator Manchin, yes. are saying, yes. "What are you doing? What are you even doing? That's Having right. a conversation?" Exactly right. That's with exactly the new right. administration about a possible job, and he's going, wait a minute, let me get this straight. Yeah, yeah, I'm an American yeah. first. Listen, you you guys know better than anyone else. I didn't support Donald Trump. I was never a fan of Hillary Clinton. I had concerns about the, uh, Donald Trump. But he's our president. That's right. He's our That's president. Right. This is our country. And Senator Manchin understood and understands that that comes first. And if he felt and he feels that now as a senator, and he could have been part of the administration, that he could find a way to work. That's it. And if Donald Trump yeah. is smart yeah. enough, and I hope and pray that he is, mm -hmm. to bring other people in who may not have been with him, in fact, were his enemies. Yes. By the way, if you can ever learn that with the media, if but, you can ever learn that but, with the media, but it's a, I know you yeah. got a direct line to him. It's a good point. Yeah. Bring them in. Yeah, that's Stop fighting them. Bring them in. That's exactly right. Now, don't tell me, Steve, that you're innocent, because it insults my intelligence. It makes me very angry. <laughs> That, oh, that's good. Is that a great that's good. Is that a don't great? Don't insult me. You know what my favorite Godfather line is this, where uh, John, uh, Johnny Russo, who played Carlo, and he goes to turn to Michael after Michael says, look, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill the uh, father of my, uh, my, my... My sister's children. So so, so Johnny Russo, as Carlo, turns to to uh, Al, Al Pacino as Michael Corleone, and the great line, get out of my sight. Oh, Oh, was that a great line? Was that a great line? Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How about this? Uh oh. You uh -oh. got K. K comes to the door. Woo! Oh! K comes to the oh! door. Oh! By the way, my wife is half Irish. Jennifer's listening right now. Jen, this is not you, honey. 
Kay, Kay comes back. Kay comes back. Oh. Michael's got the kids. Oh. Kay comes back. Uh. She finally comes back, and she's there at the door. She's got, like, the widow, the, the Marian Don thing she's wearing, okay? Mm. She, she comes to the door, and he looks at her. She wants to come back. What does he do? The door closes that door. It's does he sl- say a word? Not a word. Not a word. That was and, a better line. And, he, sl- and he slides into the shot. You know, <laughs> Coppola had him slide into the shot. And look, and it was, and, and you know what? And uh, Diane Keaton did such a great, that look on her face. I mean, what a great actress. That look like, don't, boom. You know, I said, okay, man, oh, okay. man. Joe, Joe, how about this one? By the way, Joe, no one is paying attention to us right now. Just, ready for this? Joe, how about this line? You ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's my family, Kay. That's not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And then, uh, oh, the senator's speech was a great speech. He goes, you, I don't like I, I don't like when you come out Italians? with your, oh, your Italians with your oily hair and your fancy suits. And oh. the senator, senator were both part of the same hypocrisy. This, I'm telling you, life no, lessons. By the way, Senator, you know what my offer is to you? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Not even yeah. the, the fee for the application. Which I would appreciate if you would put up. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, sorry, Joe. By the way, the you, you might want to get Steve's book, Lessons in Leadership. But you got hey, Steve, will you do me a favor? Uh, did you tweet out this uh, great article that you wrote? I'm looking I, here. In fact, I, I tweeted it out. Um, no, I, I don't see it. it. No, I saw it. I got the email. Will you tweet it? We'd like to I'm retweet gonna tweet, it. I'm going to tweet it. I'm okay. going to tweet it right okay. now. Okay. And by the way, Joe, I said to you this privately. Yes. And I don't know. What do you think? I'm a stalker. I went to go follow you on Twitter. <laughs> I got blocked on your Twitter account. I just oh. I sent you. I sent oh. you uh, online to send Hold you on. something, on, on, uh, uh, on. you know, and I sent you a message. I said, Joe, Hold on. I feel like I feel like the guy um, in, 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 in a, what's the movie with Jerry Lewis and De Niro? The King like, of Comedy. Like, I feel like the King of Comedy. Rupert like, Pumpkin. Rupert Pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. I said, like, I'm trying to stalk you. I Wait, go, what, what happened? Wait, hold on. Let me, I'm go. I'm, I'm so sorry. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I am so, my fingers are so thick. I got, like, uh, try, boxer try hands. Mom, I'm, I'm trying, trying to do a talk show down here. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Go, no, go ahead. See what? The what? No, I'm just saying. I mean, like, I felt embarrassed. My wife goes, hey. This is the know, first time you have a direct message, man. <laughs> even though his wife is godmother <laughs> to your only daughter. <laughs> Don't ever... Just let let no, anybody somebody outside, outside the family, family know, know what, what you're thinking. thinking. We understand <laughs> you found paradise in PBS, made a good trade, made a good living. You didn't need friends like Joe Piscopo. <laughs> All right, we should do a whole show. Steve, we're going to do a whole show. God, the now it's like 100 degrees in here, Steve. So no. Was, was, no, you got to. I thought heat. it was cold. He, no, he's got, well, it was. It was, but now Frankie got this little heater. It's like, oh, my. This is like ridiculous. Now it's too hot in here, huh? Hey, Steve, we love you. Bon Natale, my friend. Bon, bon Natale. Bon Natale. And, and, and love, you guys. love you guys to the, the family. Best. Let's talk soon, Stephen. And thanks. Lessons in Leadership, Steve Adubato. And we're going to retweet that. And uh, we always appreciate you on the show, Steve. God bless and Merry Christmas, man. Same to you guys.